come back to stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I thank you for your love, for your support. If you are new to the channel, you're welcome. If you have not subscribed, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. And then you can also click the join button to join stylish Niger YouTube channel. Okay, so my old subscribers, you guys are welcome. I thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a halter neck top. So you can see it is actually a dress, but I'm just going to be illustrating the top part of it. So that's what we are going to be learning how to do today. It's a beautiful piece. You can actually use this pattern for any uh skirts of your choice so that's what we are going to be learning how to do today please guys if you find this video helpful i will appreciate if you hit on the like button please like the video to support my youtube channel so that's just like basically the essence of you hitting the like button on my videos okay and if you have not subscribed like i said please subscribe so uh, the fabric i have here i'm going to be making use of a satin fabric so i have excess of satin fabric here i have about four yards of satin but I'm going to be making use of about one yard yeah, of satin. That's what I'm going to be using for this project. So I have my pattern paper. It is a simple process. We are going to be using a little bit of slash and spread on the neckline part. I'm going to explain, okay? So this is what we have. And these are the measurements that I'm going to be making use of for this. So our shoulder is for thin. And then the bust is 36, and then the under bust is 13, and then our waist is 34. So these are the measurements that I'm going to be making use of. So as I go along, we're just going to draft the pattern. It's a very simple process of drafting, actually drafting out this pattern. Very simple. So our shoulder is 14 inches, so we we'll divide that shoulder for beginners. So I have some lines here. This is my shoulder line, this is my bust point line, this is my under bust line, and then this is my half cut, which is the full measurement. So you can see my bust point, which is my nipple point, is 10, and then the under bust is 13, and then the full length is 21 inches, okay? So the next thing, we're going to add our shoulder measurement, which is 14 seven you divide that into two we're going to have 14 inches so i'm not going to add any allowance to the shoulder measurement because i'm still going to be trimming it off so from this point i'm just going to slope that shoulder into the neckline i'll come down by one inch that's what i actually did and then i'll mark it and then i'll use half of my arm hold measurement half of my arm hold measurement is 15 when i divide 15 into two i'm going to have 7.5 I'll mark the 7.5 here, and then I'm going to connect that 7.5 with my straight ruler like this. And then I'll connect like this, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do now, on this point, I'm going to mark my bust point. So my, box, my bust measurement, my bust measurement is 36. So when I divide 36 into 4, I'm going to have 9 inches. So I'll mark my 9 inches here. So I'm going to add about 3 inches or 2.5 inches allowance. Why I'm doing this is because I'm going to... So my armhole, if you notice, I've not marked my armhole. So I'm going to do that right now. So mark my armhole. I'm just going to connect the armhole like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark my waist measurement. So my waist is 30. Sorry, my under post is 30. That's the next line. That's this measurement. So when I divide that into two, into four, I'm going to have 7.5. I'll mark the 7.5 here. And then I'm going to add the same 2.5 inches allowance that I added. I'll mark it like that. The next thing, the next measurement I'm going to add is my waist measurement so the waist measurement is 34 so when i divide 34 into 4 i'm going to have let me just i have 17 first so i'm going to have 8 
8.5, like 8.6 thereabouts. And then I'm going to add my llamas to it. I'm just laughing my parties. And then I'm going to connect it like this. Okay. So the next thing, I'm going to add our neckline and create out the whole altar neckline. So for the neckline, I'm going to mark three inches like this. And then when I mark that three inches, I'm going to mark the depth. So this is the back neckline, which is one inch. So I'm going to connect. So I'm putting the back and the front together. Okay. So I've marked the back neckline. The next neckline is the front neckline. So for the front neckline, I'm going to use one, use two inches because I'm still going to add the color to it at the end of the day. So I'm going to mark it like this. So when I mark it like this, the next thing I'm going to mark now, this neckline, I'm going to float it from this neckline into my armhole part. It's a very simple process, guys. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll just take this to the edge of my... You can see it like that. And then I'm going to mark it like this. In order for it not to be too sloping, I'm going to use my pattern curve like this. So this will give it a better... So you can see, to give it a better curve, so you can see what I have. So that's how simple and easy it is to create this. And then I'm going to cut this out right now. Okay, so you can see, we have our top. It's very simple. So the next thing, I'm going to add my dart. So for the dart, I'm just going to use my normal regular waist dart. So since I'm using my normal regular waist that I'll use my bust palm measurement, which is eight. You divide that into two, I'm going to have four. I'll mark my four inches here. And then I'll mark it here. And then I'll bring it to my bust line, I'll mark it here. So from the bust line, I'm just going to come down a little bit by 1.5 inches, like that. And then from this top also, so from the top part, I'll come up by two inches. So you just watch what I'm doing. So these are the lines. So I'll connect this as a straight line first. That's the dark line. So connect, connect it like that. So here and here. So the next thing I'm going to do now from this point now, I'm going to take out just one inch of that. Just one inch. So I'll take half inch to my right and then half inch to my left. So all of this I'm going to... So you can see, it's a simple, actually it's a free dress. So I'm just indicating this in case you want to make it tight. But if you don't want to make it tight, you actually don't need to impute this dust. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to transfer to our fabric. So we cut out the back first and then we cut out the front. So I'll fold my fabric and then I'll cut. So I'm going to cut out the back first. So for the back, I'm not going to add a zip to this dress. So no, if you want to add a zip, this is what you are going to do. You are going to create your zip allowance. But since I'm not adding a zip, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Yeah. So I'll cut out the back neckline. Okay, so after cutting out the back, if you want, I want to cut out the front now. I want to open. I just want to slash the front neckline a little bit and then just open it up. So I'm going to give you an explanation. I'm going to explain something to you. So this is the front part of the neckline. So I actually want to illustrate it in two ways so it will be easy. So this is the normal front neckline without the slash and spread. So this, in case you don't want to add any pleats, tiny pleats to the front, this is how you are going to place. And then you are going to cut out the front neckline and then you are going to have this, okay? But if you want to add the pleats to the front neckline, 
So that's why I did this. I just used my pattern, just cut out my cut this open. Another way for you to do this is your front neckline. You can decide to increase the wideness of the neckline. So that's what I'm trying to do by doing this. You understand? I want to make it a little bit wider. So that's what I what I did. But if you don't want to use your pattern, you can just increase the neckline and then you, after everything you are, you just pleat to bring it back to size. So I'm doing that. Here's what I'm going to do. So I'm trying to fold my fabric again now. And then I'm going to place my pattern paper. So the only part I'm going to be slashing is the neckline part. So that's the part I just want to increase a little bit. So every other part I'm going to place normally. And then, so I'm just trying to use my hands to open this up a little bit. So you can see I'm having a little bit of truncation here at the armhole, but no worries, I'm going to, to fix that. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut out. So before I cut out, I'm going to mark that neckline part like this. So my neckline now is, is automatically wider than I should be. Okay, so I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I just extend, just spread it out just a little. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it to the back piece. Let's check. So for the back piece, because I want to add a, I'm not going to add a zip to it. So I opened up my back part. So I just slit it open about seven inches about seven inches slit so you can see so it will be able to pass through the neckline so i just want to check what i have for my front and my back piece so my front neckline now literally what i'm going to do now i'm going to just give it tiny pleats understand so i'm just going to give it tiny pleats until it comes to the same size with my back neckline so you can see you can see how it is looking so i'll take this back to my machine and then i'll just give it tiny tiny pleats making sure using the back as guide making sure that the two of them they correspond so after doing that i'll just slit i'll just teach the side and the side so that's all so i'll do that and then i'll bring it back for us to cut out the collar okay guys so after stitching after joining you can see what we have so like I said, if you don't want to add the pleats to the front, you can just do it the normal way like I explained earlier to you. So you can see it is looking good. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut out the collar. So the collar that we're cutting out is going to be like a strap. So you just take it around the neckline and then tie it at the back. If you don't want the one that you would tie, you, all you are going to do is just measure around the neckline and then cut it up to the allowance part and then add a button to it so that's it so in doing that i'm going to fold out my fabric so the inches that i'm going to use to cut out my collar is going to be about two and a half inches fold so the length depends on how long you want it to be but whatever you do just make sure that it is that your strap is longer than the neck line okay so after cutting, I'll, after cutting, you sew it and turn it so you can see what I have. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach this. It's a simple process. So I'm going to start from the center front like this. I'm going to start from the center front. I'm going to hold it like this. And then I'm going to stitch. So after stitching, it covers up like this, so you can see. So I'm going to stitch it round. And then when I get to this part like this, I'm going to stitch, take the back neckline from this point also. And then I'm going to start stitching. So it's going to stay 
like this. This one is going to start, it's going to continue from here like this. So, so you can see um, my armhole is going to stay. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. So it's going to continue. So where the front neckline stop, you are going to take the edge of the back neckline. It's going to start, it's going to continue from that same point like this. And then it's going to run up to this point. So when it gets to this point, we are going to stop. And then we're going to drop it, okay? So you can see mine is not too long, or you can make yours to be longer. So it drops, and then I'm going to fix it that way. And then I'll fold this part down and then fold my armhole also, just hem it. So I'll do that and then I'll bring it back and show you on the mannequin. It's a simple project. Okay, guys, so at the end of the day, you can see how my halter neck top looks like. It came out really fine. It's really beautiful. So thank you so much. So like I said, you can attach a skirt to the down. Just use the pattern. Add the skirt, any pattern of your choice, skirt pattern of your choice. So thank you if you find this video helpful. Please like the video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please, I would appreciate for you to do that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.